What's up everybody? How you guys doing? I just wanted to come to you guys and show you my quick little record store day haul. And I know a lot of people were really disappointed this record store day, just how everything with the, you know, COVID-19 has kind of broken everything up. It's going to be a three parts now, which I particularly really don't care for because I kind of want it to go in and just get all my releases that day, or at least, excuse me, just try to go in and get all of them and just the anticipation of going in on that day and getting all of them. But then again, it is something else for me to look forward to spread out over the next two months. So, you know, I'm 50-50 about it. I'm kind of mad that there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to get, just like the old Dirty Bastard, the 25th anniversary return to the 36 Chambers. I wanted to get that. There was an Eminem 7 single that came out that I wanted to get. There's a big L that's coming out that I wanted to get. So a lot of stuff I thought I was going to be able to go in there and get. And even due to the fact of me hearing about the three separate days, some stuff was still set to be released yesterday. But I'm going to patiently wait. And hopefully maybe I get a chance to grab those records if I find them, hopefully I find them in my record store around here, which is basically I live in a small town and we have one record store. But that record store, thank God, a lot of the time is not really, really packed on record store day. Since it's a small town, it's kind of really like a hidden gem. So when I'm in there, I'm able to, you know, find a lot of things that people are just out of everywhere else or not able to find because... You know, sometimes in a small town, you don't think of going to that record store. You're thinking, oh, well, they won't have anything. They're not going to have this. They're not going to have that. But when you go in and look, you're very surprised. So with that being said, let's get into this record store day haul. The first thing I got wasn't really a record store day haul, but it was just something that I seen in there when I went in there. And this is the Onyx Back to Fuck Up CD. And this is... You know, just due to me being really, really old school and really 90s hip hop. That's the reason why I got that. I ended up picking this up. This, of course, again, is not eventually what I went in there for, but this is the Kanye West Power Single, the picture disc, which I've seen these online everywhere before, and I'm a Kanye fan, so I said, while I have the money and I see it, let me just go ahead and pick it up. So that's one thing. Now, to get into what most of you guys are waiting for, most of you guys are watching for, we're going to start off with this one, which is the Denzel Curry Bulls on Parade. Now, the crazy thing about this one is a lot of people were saying that this was hard to find. A lot of people were saying that it wasn't. But I know my record store in town, they had a lot of them. So I picked up one, and I'm probably going to add it somewhere back here to my collection. But... I did get a chance to pick this up to Denzel Curry. And if you guys haven't heard Denzel Curry's verse on Guap Dad 4000's Isaiah, check that song out. That song is dope. But, yeah, I did get to pick that out. The Bulls on Parade. I mean, sorry, pick that up. Not pick that out. But I got a chance to pick it up. Like I said, my store in town, they had a good quantity of these. And now what everybody's waiting to see, and I know everybody has been looking for this on Instagram, on Facebook. I've seen a lot of people have them on eBay actually, but the prices are super high, super disgusting. So with that being said, here's what everybody's waiting for. And since my record store, as I said, since it's kind of a small town, they actually did end up having, you know, a few copies there, more than I actually thought were going to be there. So I ended up walking around for a few, just scoping everything out. And by the time I actually got back to those, it was only two copies left. So I decided if I want one, I better get my hands on them now. Luckily, it was one copy of each. So I got both of them. And I was really looking forward to getting that Weekend album. I'm a big fan of The Weekend, but just as we walked in there, there was one guy there who had his hand on the last one and grabbed it right as we were walking up to it. So we didn't get a chance to get that. And like I said, I did see those on eBay, but the prices are like 
almost double, triple. So like I said, you know, I, I want that record. I want it to, I want that record to play it and, you know, listen to it and just hear that album on vinyl. But unfortunately, I just don't want to pay $60 for a record that was going to cost me $20 in a store. So I'll be fine with the MP3 for now, or just Apple Music. And I know it's not the same, but as I said, you know, I just don't want to pay that high price. And so with that being said, that's my quick little record store day haul. And I really, my top three that I actually want to pick up, of course, like I said before, is the old Dirty Bastard, Return to the 36 Chambers. I want to pick that up. There's a deluxe version coming out. And I think that it's slated for the September record store day. Also, there's an Eminem 7-inch single that's coming out on record store day. And I believe they said that September or no, excuse me. They said that that will be out in October. So I'm going to try my hand at those. And even if I can't get those two, hopefully I get the Big L that's also coming out. That should be coming out in September. And now, like I said, I've not been too sure on my dates. And that's only because, you know, looking at lists, they'll give you one date and then going to the record store. And I'll say, well, no, that hasn't came out yet. It comes out this day and this day or this day. When, you know, when I first looked at it on websites and everything like that, they gave me a whole different date. I don't know if that's happened to any of you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Were you guys disappointed with the way they did this record store day? Were you guys okay with it or you guys just thinking okay well it's something to look forward to down the road we have another record store day coming up really soon or you know do you guys just like when everything comes out together because like i said i i read the release dates and i've seen the release dates for most of the stuff i was looking for and still when i went to the record store they said now well they pushed that up until this date or this date or that date so i want you guys to comment below if you guys have anything that you're looking forward to coming out for these next two record store days. And also on top of that, comment down below if you guys actually got the record you were looking for. Or even if you don't like the way that they're doing record store day now, you don't like them cutting up into three different days, which I completely understand just because of, you know, the whole COVID and the social distancing thing. They don't want everybody to run to the store at once. But as a music fan and somebody who loves my records and loves my vinyl and everything like that, it kind of disappointed me because I had a set mind that I wanted to go in there and get everything that I wanted just in one swoop. But like I said, still overall it's 50-50 with me because now I'm still looking forward to the future and the next record store day. So, oh, and by the way, before I go, I also picked this up, this Rolling Stones camouflage sticker. It's just something about it that caught my eye. I might I don't know, stick it on the back of the MacBook or something. I might do something like that with it, but it really just caught my eye. It was only a dollar, so I picked that up too. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, so comment down below anything you're looking forward to getting, anything you didn't get, anything you did get, and how do you just feel overall in general about the way that they're doing Record Store Day this year? Do you think it's something that is good like you know just having something to wait and look forward to or do you just want to go in there and get what you want to get and be done with it let me know i'll see you guys later peace out